use hashtag Raiders get your questions on the show. So now I'm going to be doing a live mail back here, okay? So use hashtag Raiders get your questions on the show. We're going to be talking about episode two of Hard Knocks. And if you guys have any other random questions that you want to throw in, make sure you guys do it using hashtag Raiders. Like my man Mackenzie Thomas did. Mackenzie, are you a loyal watcher? Because get a picture. Mitch, bruh, tell me, what do you expect from Hunter? Shout out from Twin Falls, Idaho. Well, shout out to my man, Mackenzie. I expect probably around like 40 catches for Hunter Renfro. I expect him to be around that like 500 mark. But Hunter Renfro is going to make the biggest impact on big third downs. First down catches. Being able to be that reliable check down receiver for Derek Carr. Because Derek needs somebody that he can rely on. Reliability is a big, big thing. So, Mackenzie, I appreciate the question. Make sure you guys are using hashtag Raiders. Like one of my most loyal watchers, Caleb did. Do you think Wood could come back and ball off he wanted to? Um, all right, so I'm going to translate this. Do you think Charles Woodson could come back to the Raiders and ball out if he wanted to? Don't worry, Caleb. I got you. Do I think he could ball out? No. Do I, would I want Charles Woodson to come back on the field? No, I think Charles Woodson did what he did right. He still went off when he was playing at a pretty solid level. But if Charles Woodson wants to come back and coach the Raiders and be that defensive back coach, I mean, I would be unbelievably excited to have Charles Woodson come back. Like, who's with me? Who wants Charles Woodson back? Type W in the comments section below. Type W if you would want Charles Woodson to come back and be a coach for the Oakland Raiders. Speaking of W, I guess we're going to the white hat here. Surprised they didn't have any or didn't have Anthony Rush on. You know, I am surprised. So Anthony Rush was one of my winners, okay? Anthony Rush is a mountain of a man, for those of you that don't know. Defensive tackle out of UAB, 6'5, 350 pounds. Like, that's 60 pounds heavier than Mohurst. The next closest defensive tackle that's even close to him is Jonathan Hankins at 320 pounds. Like, Anthony Rush played really, really well against the Rams. He's a really, really big dude. So, am I surprised? Maybe not. But maybe episode three, we might see Anthony Rush. Because he's going to be one of those players that's on the bubble to make the final team. So, make sure you guys are using hashtag Raiders. Get your question on the show. So, for those of you watching on YouTube, if you're watching us on Facebook, we'll make sure that we get both YouTube and Facebook comments on the show. Let's go to Nathaniel. What's up, my man? Where the hell is Josh Jacobs? You and me both. Like, I made Josh Jacobs a loser last week for not being on the show. And I was like, do I do it again? Do I have to put Josh Jacobs again for being a loser? Like, how is this kid not featured on the show? I don't get it. I don't get how you can draft a running back who has, in my opinion, the best odds of any Raider to win the rookie of the year. How do you not put him on the show the first two shows? Ah, Nathaniel, I agree with you. Now, I also got to ask you guys this question. Would you rather kiss Antonio Brown's feet or marry a Broncos fan? Wow, all right, I can see uh, Tad. Producer Tad must be dealing with this in his personal life because this one, you know, hey, we're talking about football. This one's a little bit out of left field. It's all good. So, K for kiss, M for marry, and for anyone who needs a little bit of a refresher, I want Antonio Brown's feet look like. Soak it in. You know what? We're going to keep the... Actually, the next... However long this show is, it's all... It's just going to be Antonio Brown's feet. You think I'm kidding? Seriously. The next 20 minutes, Antonio Brown's feet. Who says no? K for kiss, M for Mary. Kiss Antonio Brown's feet or marry a Broncos fan. I want to see it in the comment section. Get this off the screen. Ugh. Raider Zach. What's up, man? Max Crosby. Do you think he will play himself into a starting lineup by midseason? It's an interesting question. I don't know necessarily if Max Crosby plays his way in as much as if somebody else maybe plays their way out. I'm excited about Arden Key. He put on some good weight. He looked really, really solid against the Rams in that first preseason game. The issue I think is going to be with Max Crosby is this broken hand is going to set him back a little bit. But from an athletic standpoint... He's more athletic, I would almost argue, than Arden Key. Like, go back and look at his NFL Combine metrics. They're insane. Max Crosby's a very good player. Do I hope that he can? Sure. And if he does, I might then 100% get a Max Crosby jersey. Let's go to Jeff Rogers. 
Jeff Rogers. There's one thing that I can rely on. The sun coming up, the sun going down, and Jeff Rogers turning in to every single Raiders report that I do. Jeff, my man, you might as well come to Chat Sports. You might as well join the team. Jeff, if you want to join the team, I got something for you. Am I crazy for thinking Jonathan Abram will make the Pro Bowl this season? Are you crazy? Maybe. I don't, I don't know you personally. Are you crazy for this thought? No. I mean, the Raiders, I think, have a solid secondary. And from everything that I've seen from Abram, he's going to be a fun player. Like, he kind of reminds me of Jamal Adams, the safety from the Jets. Also from, uh, he played at college football at LSU. He's just a leader. And for a leader to be able to step on the field, you're not going to be able to take Abram off. I think he's going to put up solid numbers. Crazy for making the Pro Bowl? No, nah, man. I don't think that's that crazy at all. Uh, Raiders life. Now that Townsend is gone, bring back King. I think the reason why all the Marquette King rumors have just gone hush is because A.J. Cole's legit. A.J. Cole looked good in the preseason. All reports are that A.J. Cole's done very, very well. And if he's our punter, why bring back somebody who has shown that they can't really get along with John Gruden? I'm okay with A.J. Cole. And from what it sounds like, the Raiders, they're okay with A.J. Cole too. But if you guys would rather have Marquette King, type K, or if you want A.J. Cole, type C in the comment section. All right, we're going to go to a guy who needs to get a picture. Like, you guys can see me, but I can't see you. So, Gilbert, get a picture. When's Vontez going to show up on the show? Another player that I'm actually kind of astonished that hasn't been on the show featured yet, right? Like, I mean, Vontez, in terms of just, like, personality, like, I can't believe he hasn't been featured at all. Nah, he might have been featured for 10 seconds on episode one. But the Raiders, they went out and got a player like Vontez. I think, personally, he was a player that I projected to be a captain. I want to see more a little bit of Vontez perfect. And also what I want to see is Gilbert and Brandon Martinez to get a picture. Because, uh, come on. How do you think Trayvon Mullen did in the first preseason game of the season? I thought he played okay. Like, it's the first preseason game. I The biggest thing, the, my biggest takeaway from the preseason is like, please nobody get hurt. I know that Jonathan Abram is the player who wants to be physical. But Jonathan, don't get hurt. It's the preseason. Same for Trayvon Mullen. Like, I want these guys to go out there and play at a high level. But I know Trayvon Mullen is a good cornerback. I know that he can play. The preseason at times gets a little bit overhyped, which is okay. We miss football. It's coming back. But if I had to give a grade for Trayvon Mullen's performance, I'd give it a solid B. Now, these players, Hard Knocks' biggest winners. So, Antonio Brown was a winner on my last week's show. Same with Jonathan Abram was a winner on this week's show. Max Crosby was a winner on this week's show. But Antonio Brown is actually a loser. And uh, I don't know who made this graphic, but you're also a little bit of a loser. So, make sure you guys subscribe to YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. Let's go to Ray S here. Lock for last in the division, right? I don't think so. I, I, I would actually greatly disagree with that. Like, the Broncos have a tough schedule too. I have more confidence in the Raiders' overall team. Like, if the Raiders didn't have such a hard schedule... I think they could easily be in playoff contention. Now, you got to show me a lot by this Raiders team. Plus, they got to travel on the road so much. So, a lot of different moving parts for the Raiders. But, Ray S, a lock for last in the division? Like, no. I'm actually surprised you would even ask that question. Let's go to Keith Babbitt. After watching the preseason game, do we think Furl gets eight plus sacks? I think so. Eight sacks is a lot. Okay. The, the player who I'm going to throw a comparison out to. Now, I'm not going to compare... Cleveland Furl to Khalil Mack, okay? I don't want to do that because Khalil Mack is one of the best defensive players, one of the best players in the NFL. But Khalil Mack as a rookie had four sacks. It's really, really difficult for you to be able to come into year one and make that big of an impact. I think Cleveland Furl is a very talented player. He's going to be an every down defensive end for us. He's going to be able to do a lot of things that don't show up in the stat sheet. But eight plus sacks as a rookie is very, very difficult. I think if Cleveland can come in and get that four to five sack mark, I personally would be very, very happy with that because, again, a player like Mack had only eight or only four in his first year. Let's go to Chad Florentine. Chad, that's a pretty sick pick. Send me that pick. 
Slide in my DM. No. Uh, Mitch, did you pick up on Gruden's uncertainty about Carr and AB chemistry in the episode? I did. You could tell how frustrated Gruden was. Gruden literally said, you know, hey, we went out. They're, they're all sitting down at a table. And Gruden is like, you know, we went out this offseason to build around Derek Carr. We went out and got Tyrell Williams. We went out and got Antonio Brown. And you could tell the frustration level of Gruden was definitely starting to build up because he's like, the fact that we are getting down there and we're already getting ready to that second preseason game, yeah. Chad, you and I, we're on the same wavelength. All right, here's some big losers. Speaking of Antonio Brown, this graphic, got it. Backup quarterbacks, Glenn and Peterman, big, big losers in episode two. Hunter Renfro, only a loser because you can't sing. Lean on me, come on. If you're going to sing, lean on me. You got you at least got to at least give me a reason to lean on you. And Antonio Brown, the feet, the helmet, the entire saga, absolutely driving me crazy. But hey, that's what you're going to get a little bit with Antonio Brown. So I got to ask you guys something. Do you like the show? Do you want me to keep doing the show? Cool. Get me to 21,000 subscribers. We got to 20K. I'm still trying to figure out what I need to do for 20K. So if you guys can think of some ideas of what I need to do for 20K to celebrate, comment below. I would definitely appreciate that. So subscribe to this channel, okay? I'm trying to get to 21K by August 20th. August 20th is when the next Hard Knocks comes out. So we have a week. One week, okay? Get me to 21,000. I'm not good at math, but I know I'm about 700 away. So get me to 21,000 subscribers. I would definitely appreciate that. Okay, Raiders Life has got a question. Renz, your reaction on Joshua Holsey? My reaction on Joshua Holsey. Don't really have a reaction, Raiders Life. I'll be 100% uh, honest with you on that. All right, let's go to Carlos Alfonso Gonzalez. Gruden said he needs to quit cussing. <laughs> Poor Chucky Heads, he won't. Yeah, no. I like the fact that he cusses. I also like the fact that HBO shows all of it. I like John Gruden's emotion. It's the reason why he's Chucky, right? Like, John, keep bringing the emotion. Carlos, keep bringing the comments. King Chin. King Ching? Is that right? Yeah. Keep using that hashtag, Raiders. I know. Tad was like, I don't know either, man. Which players you believe should be more explosive this upcoming game? Which players do I believe to be more explosive? Um, I want to see Josh Jacobs. Haven't seen him on Hard Knocks. Also, he didn't play in the first preseason game. And the fact that Derek Carr is going to get a few snaps in the first preseason or in the second preseason game against the Cardinals, that and to me would also mean that Josh Jacobs is going to be on the field. So I also want to see Hunter Renfro play a little bit better. Keelan Doss, Keon Hatcher, Marcel Aitman. These were a lot of players that stepped up and I thought played pretty well overall in that first preseason game. So I want to see Hunter Renfro and I want to see Josh Jacobs. Uh, let's go to this next question here from Mysterious Matthew. If Phillip Rivers gets hurt, are we guaranteed second in the division? I'm still probably going to say no. Um, they have a pretty solid backup there in Terod Taylor. Plus, that defense is solid. We'll see what happens with Melvin Gordon. Between you and me, I, I think Melvin might actually sit out until week 10. So, we'll see how their backup running backs uh, do. So, Mysterious Matthew. In football, man, nothing is a lock. If you would have told me Carson Wentz is going to go down and that Nick Foles is going to lead them to a Super Bowl, probably would have told you you're crazy. But, hey, that's the best thing about the football about the football. It's the best thing about the NFL. We have a good time. So, all right. If you guys didn't see this episode, okay, what we learned, go back and watch it. So, what I learned about episode two, AB's feet, they're gross. Keelan Doss, he's still on that roster bubble. Number three was the Raiders need to protect Derek Carr. Number four, the Rams kind of beat up on the Raiders a little bit there on day one. But the rookies, they came back day two and I thought played pretty well. If you missed my what I learned, Go back. You guys can watch it. I would definitely appreciate that. Continue to watch and comment on all my videos. So episode two, it's in the books. We did a live Q&A here. My grade for episode two was an A. I thought it was better than episode one with a B. Sure, a lot of Antonio Brown, Jonathan Abram. But also, I like the fact that we got to go up against the Rams. We got to go up against another team. It was a lot, a lot of fun. I was able to watch it. And I hope that you guys watch the next Hard Knocks with me August 20th. And then continue to watch all the extra ones from there on out. Now, if I missed your question, make sure you guys tweet at me, okay? Tweet at me, at MitchellRen365. If I missed any of your questions, I'll be live Thursday for the Raiders vs. Cardinals. And I'll be live again for next week against Hard Knocks. One more time. If, you missed, if I missed your question, tweet at me, at MitchellRenz365. 
Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this, I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching and go Raiders.